Hey, hey, hey. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the community feed. It's been a while. I'm a bit rusty. My name is Hinano. And also, how do you guys like my new headphones, you guys? I got rid of the uh, air traffic controller headphones that I've had for a year. Um, the reason why I use them, you guys, is they're very comfortable for long, uh, long term use, like literally, or should I say sitting here for like maybe three, four hours, they were comfortable. They never made my ears sore or my head sore. Uh, but and I bought them for like ten ninety nine at Ross. But these are my new ones from the girls. They got me some Sony's, so I'm still getting used to them. They're a little bit more tighter, but you know, we're just gonna have to figure this out as we go along. But let's get to the news, everyone. <clears throat> so VV announced today the uh, the uh, winners for the VV Coca Cola contest. Here are your three winners right here, and uh, as well as their um, X pages. Uh, you can check that out. But thank you to everyone who sent in pics and videos, winning entries below. And so here are some of the entries. And so what they had to do was put their uh, Coca-Cola machine next to another vending machine. And right here you have the Coke machine next to, it looks like a 7-Up machine, Pepsi machine, as well as some other Coca-Cola machines as well. So here's one of the winners right here. Here's another winner. Oh, that's pretty cool with a nice little refrigerator right there. And here's your third winner right here, Maximus, uh, with his 80s Coke machine. It's my actually favorite one right here. But congratulations to the winners and everyone that got something from VV. Super stoked for you guys. Um, moving on. Uh, you guys right here, VV Knight. If you haven't yet, give this guy a follow. He is um, a collector who does whatnot shows he does some raffles well for this right here he is doing a giveaway today is the last day to win a 39 dollars pokemon mystery pack from our newly launched lantern monsters each pack has two cards with a guaranteed graded card grand prize chase is a 1999 base hit charizard graded at 8.0 like comment share and tag to be entered to win uh, one of these mystery packs. So like I said, again, give VV Knight a follow and enter his giveaway right here. This is the stipulations on how to enter right here. So right on and good luck to whoever goes for this. Uh, moving on. And shout out to Biscuits for reposting this. Looks like uh, Disney Pinnacle is dropping some new open edition pins uh, on the market. Uh, looks like they're dropping soon. Um, looks like the two, three, so maybe, maybe February the third. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I got to go look in the app, excuse me, but let us know down below. Have you guys gotten access into pinnacle yet? Uh, if you did, how do you like the platform so far? Uh, I like the platform. I've really been enjoying it. Um, a lot of first appearances in that platform. Uh, speaking of first appearances, here's some of the pins that I've collected, I've mainly been going after these uh, Stormtroopers because they are the first appearance of Stormtroopers on the blockchain. Stormtroopers is a collectible now. I know you guys will, there'll, there'll be some people that argue, well, we got the comic books. Uh, I remember we were arguing about the comic books, like, well, Vader was first appearance in the comic books then, than the actual collectible. So anyways, however you want to read it, you can read it. But I'm reading it like this. These are Stormtroopers, first of its kind as an NFT collectible, don't matter if it's a pin, and it's first appearance on the Flow blockchain, which is a verifiable blockchain, uh, and also hosts uh, other projects like Top Shots and Cryptoys. So these are my pins that I've gotten so far on my pin board. I got more than just this, guys. Uh, and no, I didn't break the bank. Like, here's a good example. Like, I bought this, this pin here was like $7. This one was $10. These are the digital pins and in the revolving store, you don't have to do blind box. You actually buy these if it's in the revolving store. And I picked up these digitals for like $24.95. So not breaking the bank at all. And, you know, getting some first appearances and some chase pins is pretty cool. But loving the project. And I'm hoping the rest of you get access. I know there's a lot of you that are still waiting outside the windows looking in. And I feel for you. I was just like that last week. Got to let them in, Disney Pinnacle. We need more people in. It would just be great to have more activity in there. Anyways, moving on. Oh, but we got more about the pins. Evolve writes, 22 hours left to go for these Volume 1 Set 1 Mystery Capsules on Disney Pinnacle. Current mints of the Princess 
Mystery capsules are 12,481 pins. Toy Story, 7,931 pins. And Star Wars, 16,411 pins. Because they're open edition, you know, they're, they're remintable until they close it out. But 20 hours left. And then these first editions, first prints, will no longer be available in the stores. My understanding from what I've read, these can show up again, but not as a first print with the 2023 date on it. So if you're able to get access, uh, you may want to grab some of these. Like this is a first appearance right here of Cinderella, first appearance of Belle, first appearance of Jesse. I don't remember what the horse's name. I'm sorry. I'm not a Toy Story fan. Uh, but this is the one that I have been stacking whenever it's in that revolving store is the first appearance of Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are massive, massive character in the Star Wars IP franchise that everyone loves. And I know everyone's been wanting them on Vivi, um, and we got them on Pinnacle. It doesn't mean that, you know, they won't drop on Vivi or Cryptoids or any of these other platforms in the future, but right now they dropped first on Pinnacle. And so that's what I've been stacking. Not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing as a collector in this space. But let me know down below what you guys are doing. And thanks for this Evolve. Moving on. Uh, you guys, Comics and Crypto Podcast, join us live today at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is right now, actually. While I'm filming this, this live is going on right now with special guest Sleeping Comics as we discuss the Monster Comic Grails currently being auctioned at Heritage Auction. The first ASM1 CGC 9.8 comic ever to hit a public auction. The only showcase number four CGC 9.6 to hit in 15 years. Um, a Superman number one CGC 7.0 and so many more. How will the sale of these grills affect your digital comics on Vivi and Candy? Join us to discuss. So guys, this is going on right now. So depending on when the community feed gets released, either this will still be happening right now or you'll be have to go back and watch the recording. But check this out. It looks like it's going to be a fun conversation. And we got sleeping in the house. He's coming back to uh, grace us with his presence. So um, it looks like it's uh, setting up to be a really good uh, show for these guys. So check this out. Uh, also, guess who else is back? The man himself, My Collectibles, has returned from his vacation. Back in my studio and picking the top five best Marvel comic gains on Vivi Official so far in 2024. These comics moved up in value. I even show you the next one that will pump, in my opinion. Check it out, guys. And right here is the link. Good to have you back, MC. Looking forward to your next live stream. Let's go. Ah, right here, Sergio. Thank you for uh, spreading the news right here. Breaking, the Apple Vision Pro starts selling next month, February 2nd, for $3,500. Woo! That's it, guys. Just $3,500. Just think of it as $3.50, but for the rich people. Uh, VV CEO David Yu has, has in the past indicated that the company has been working with Apple on a product. Many have since speculated that it's for the Vision Pro. Vverse, here we come. <clears throat> Full disclosure, everything is a speculation until it is fact. But let us know down below. Are you guys going to go for the Vision Pro? Are you guys going to be one of those guys who are going to buy two? One to use and one to keep in the box. I am debating. I actually have money to buy one of these if I really wanted to. Now, do I want to soak 3500 bucks into it? Probably not to use it. Maybe to collect it. Or maybe I can get it cheaper. I don't know. But I'm really thinking iPhone 1 right here. You know what I mean? And we all know where this is going. We're all in the same space together. So we all have an idea of where this tech is going to go. So let me know down below. Are you going to... Uh, shell out 35k or i'm sorry 3500 clams for this um i'm debating on it let me know thank you sergio uh right here johnny dunn also writes the new era is upon us i believe it will greatly benefit the digital collectibles industry especially those built around augmented reality and ip that the entire world loves 100 percent, johnny dunn i'm on the same page with you and one day, guys, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be putting on these goggles or whatever, you know what I mean? Or, or maybe we got contact lenses on, and that's what's going to be right in front of us. It's just a bunch of apps. So looking forward to that day, uh, and I feel like it's just right around the corner. 
And that's it for the community feed today. Actually, no, that's not it for the community feed. I'm sorry. There's one more thing I want to talk about. Bitcoin. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Bitcoin right now has broken past the $46,000 uh, threshold. We are now trading at 47171 currently of this recording. And this is all on the heels of a possible approval of an ETF. Right here, it states at Coindesk, Bitcoin on Monday topped 47000 for the first time since April 2022 as anticipation of for a landmark spot-based Bitcoin exchange-traded fund ETF approval in the U.S. is reaching a fever pitch. The largest and original cryptocurrency rose sharply from 43200 during Asia morning hours to a fresh 19-month high of 47000 192 during the U.S. trading session, Coindesk indices data show Bitcoin gained almost 7% over the past 24 hours. Wow. So what do you guys think? You think this puppy will actually break 50K by the end of the week? Do you think this is even going to happen? Um, you know, I'm just looking at the volume, guys. There's a lot of volume in the charts. Um, but like I said, this is not a financial uh, channel. This is just me, you know, bringing some thoughts. Showing some prices here. By the time you guys watch this, who knows? Maybe Bitcoin's back down to 42 or 32. I doubt it, but you never know. But anyways, you guys, that's been it for the community feed today. Thank you so much for joining us again. Not too much news that I saw today. Maybe there's news that comes out after the feed. But we will continue on. No chill and chill this week. Um, we are going to discuss with you guys on Friday um, the future of our channel. Um, there are some changes that's going to happen here, uh, some good changes, some bad changes, some things you guys may not like, um, but it's a new year. Uh, we got new goals and we're not going anywhere. Uh, we got a lot of exciting things in the planning stages. There were some things that I wanted to announce at the beginning of the year that didn't come to fruition yet because we're not ready for it. So unfortunately, you guys are going to have to wait on that. But yeah, we're definitely going to be doing an Aloha Friday stream. Apologies on friday for not having an aloha friday stream um we really needed to spend some time with family um d and i have just been running around like crazy for the last two months and um you know we spent some time with our daughter this weekend i know i don't have to explain myself i'm just letting you guys know though that that's kind of what we we did and so part of what we did this weekend is going to be in the um development process of the podcast going forward uh, but we'll get into all of that on Friday, you guys. Um, until then, thank you so much. Take care. Until the next one. Aloha.